the extreme temperatures and pressures in the cores of these stars allow them to fuse heavier elements after helium. Nuclear fusion occurs in layers, forming a gigantic cosmic onion-like structure. In the outermost shell, hydrogen is still fused into helium. Inside that layer, helium is fused into carbon and oxygen. And so on, in deeper and hotter layers, heavier elements continue to be produced, carbon into neon, neon into magnesium, magnesium into silicon, and finally, silicon is fused into iron right at the star's core. Each of these shells corresponds to a different type of nuclear fusion reaction, each reaction requiring higher temperature and pressure than the previous one. Iron is a special element and the destroyer in the stellar nuclear fusion process. When the core of a supergiant star becomes entirely iron, the energy-producing nuclear fusion reactions abruptly cease. The reason is simple. 